All right, I uh, just showed you how to set it up, and just something strange. Uh, this is going to be the second time I'm going to try recording this clip because I had some crazy memory leak that I didn't see. And uh, after, like, I don't know, a minute or so, I guess I ran out of memory. My computer started, lo my computer started locking up and freezing, and I was wondering what the heck was going on. So it was weird, but I fixed it. Um... So anyways, uh, what this will do, what this little example I made will do is basically it has a green square that you can move around. When it collides into the edge of the screen, it's going to play a sound. The sound is going to sound like it lags, but it's not really lagging. It's uh, The sound has some empty space in the beginning of it, so it, it starts playing, but you don't hear it until that empty space ends, if that makes sense. So, uh, it's going to sound like it lags, but it, just keep in mind, if you use a sound that uh, uh, start, it doesn't have any empty space in the beginning, then it shouldn't lag like that. Um, I also have music playing in it, but I'm going to have my speakers muted for a little bit so I can point out some stuff. Um, I've loaded a background onto it, it's that Hello YouTube background, and then I've loaded a... Uh, something that says true type uh, with a font so uh, I'm gonna play it right here oops too far okay so yep the hello YouTube background and then this is the true type font right here uh, this is this isn't um, this isn't part of the image and here's the square you see I can move it around Yep, okay, so now I'm going to unmute uh, the speakers so you can hear the music. You probably will only be able to hear it faintly. And then I'm going to start colliding into the wall. Alright, so here we go. Alright, I think that's good enough. So anyways, now we can start going through the code. Oops. One second. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, I just like knocked something and my monitor turned off. Wow, that was weird. Anyways, so I'm going to go up to the top. I don't know if I already told you, but uh, you need to include these two headers. The stlmixer.h and stlttf.h, those are what you're going to need for those different extension libraries. Um, if you can't figure out which is for which, then um, I'm sorry, but you're retarded. Anyway, so let's take a look at the new different things we have. Uh, I have an SDL surface for the text right here. So that's what's going to hold the image of the text pretty much after I finish loading it in. Then I have what's called a TTF font and that's going to be the font that I load in. Then I have a mix chunk which is basically a sound from SDL Mixer. And then I have a music piece mix music uh, and that will be the music that's going to be playing in the background. Don't pay attention to this stuff. Anyways, um, here I have a SDL color I made uh, that uses text color. It's called text color. Um, this is white. So then right here, this is what you need to initialize SDL Mixer. There's also another function you can use. You can use SDL, I mean, mix in it. Um, but I've always just used open audio. So, quick look at the parameters. You can go right here. See, you have in it. Well, here, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so you got in it, quit, open audio, and close audio. So in open audio, you have the frequency, the format, number of channels. Now, this is the number of channels, basically like uh, if you want mono, stereo, that kind of stuff. Um, later, you're going to learn about 
channels where when you play a sound it plays on a channel but this isn't the type of channels it's referring to then int is chunk size and that's just kinda like a sample like what you think uh, your uh, the things you're gonna load in how big you think they're gonna be pretty much um, pretty much I just used a bunch of default parameters I've always used that I've never really changed it um, so for the channels if you want mono put one and if you want stereo put two simple as that the format you can do any of these a bunch of, there's just a bunch of different things down here um, I usually just use this mixed default format but simple enough yeah yeah so after that we we call TTF in it and that initializes SDL TTF okay and then here we have some of the I'm gonna go down to where I uh, free everything because I just want to show that first so here I close the font I opened it earlier and I'll show you opening it in a second and with these two things I'm halting the channels and halting the music meaning I'm stopping it and I'll show you how to play it in a second and down here I'm freeing resources so see you can use SDL free surface to free uh, images pretty much and mix free chunk or mix free music to free sounds or music and then TTF close font kind of frees the memory associated with fonts. See, and then mix close audio and TTF quit, which correspond to the open audio and S and TTF in it. Um, so I'll find this. Okay. So now to open a font, use the function TTF open font. Takes in two parameters. The first parameter is the file path to what you're loading in the second is a font size so see that's the where my font is so here I'll show you graphics here's my TTF font alright so now when you want to make a when you want to put text onto a surface what you use is TTF render text now you see right here, I wrote TTF render text solid. That's because in SDL TTF here, I'm gonna drag over and zoom in. So there's a bunch of different TTF. There's TTF render text, and you can use solid, shaded, or blended. You can also use render UTF-8, render Unicode, or render Glyph. So you have text, UTF-8, Unicode, or Glyph. And for each of those, you can use either solid, shaded, or blended. Um, if you want to know the difference between all those, just check out the TTF documentation. I always just use uh, render text solid. That's the fast, fastest of the three. Um, so this takes in three parameters. It takes in the font you want to use, the text you want to display, and then the color of the text. Okay. Now to load in a sound, you're usually going to want to use mix load wave. And it takes in a single parameter, the file path. There's a, for each one, they, and then there's also mix load muse, which is usually used for music. They each have their own file types that they can load. Uh, so if you want to know uh, what file types each one supports, just go check out the SDL Mixer documentation. Okay, and this one also t just takes the file path. So in my project, I have an SFX folder. After the rain is the music. I got that from Musader.com. Uh, that's uh, Lucica Mage on YouTube. If you haven't heard of her, haven't checked her out, I definitely recommend you go do that. 